and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Carolina. I am so excited you're watching today's video. I'm gonna be taking you guys through a what I eat in a day, high protein edition. We're gonna be aiming for 100 grams of protein. So if you're on a journey to incorporate more protein into your life, I hope today just gives you some inspiration, recipe ideas, and motivates you to nourish yourself. Today is also a rest day for me. I am actually running the New York City Half Marathon in four days and I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of excited. I did my run for the week yesterday and so today is my recovery day. It's really nice outside so I might go on a walk or something but for the most part I'm going to be prioritizing resting today and recovery which is something I've been really prioritizing more and I think it's just been making such a positive impact on my bloating, on my body overall, on my digestion which makes me very very happy and I just hope this video shows you that you deserve to nourish yourself, you deserve to nourish your body, you deserve to eat no matter how little or how much you have worked out in that day. You don't have to earn or burn your food and you deserve to nourish yourself every single day. So hopefully this video reminds you of that. And as always with any video where I'm showing recipes and meal ideas, there will be a free recipe guide in the description down below and a free grocery list that you can download and use if you want to recreate anything that I make. So hopefully that makes it easier on you to eat yummy food. And so uh, let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. It's 8 a.m. right now. I woke up around 30 minutes ago and I took my supplements, drank my water, I drank a big glass of water and that felt so good. I normally don't drink that much water right away after waking up. So let this be a reminder to hydrate yourself first thing in the morning because you might not even realize how thirsty you were and how good it feels to do that. Especially if you drink coffee first thing in the morning. Definitely Definitely drink water before on the days where I'm not going on a run first thing in the morning I've been eating right away pretty much and I've noticed that's been really feeling good for me so let's go make breakfast let's get into it <laughs> Per three-fourths cup of this specific brand's yogurt, you get 18 grams of protein. That's not even a full cup. There are some yogurt brands where it's like the same amount of yogurt gives you like five grams of protein or something. So definitely make sure to read what it says for the protein content, but I highly recommend this specific yogurt. And then if you don't live in the US, try to find the most similar Greek yogurt of this you can. I microwaved some frozen blueberries. I'm gonna add that on top. I always think this looks so pretty and I like to kind of like mix it in. I'm gonna use this last little bit of gluten-free granola I have from Purely Elizabeth. This is the coconut cashew flavor and it actually has a good amount of protein. I normally don't measure out my things, I'm just doing it today to get the protein count right. Yummy, crunchy. I'm gonna also add a little bit of peanut butter. Half a tablespoon of peanut butter. I'm also gonna put just a couple of raspberries in there. I got them. Pedro got them for me. <laughs> Lots of fiber from these. Breakfast is served. Finished product. Let's give this a good stir. I wanna get the peanut butter mixed in if I can. And the raspberries also coated. And voila! Good morning. Good morning. The way he moves away from my hand. Let's do a little taste test. I love this color. It looks so pretty. Mmm. I love when I take a bite and like there's a little bit of peanut butter. And also when you add the frozen blueberries like this, it just like gives the yogurt really nice flavor. It's really good. So delicious. It's 11 now and I just spent the last couple of hours doing some work stuff. I had a podcast episode go live today so I edited some clips to share on social. I answered emails. I looked through what my accountant did for me with taxes and it's looking pretty good. And I have a meeting in 45 minutes with my MD that I'm working with from Alara Health which is just like a holistic health service for women specifically focused on hormone health and I did like a blood test a few weeks ago and we're gonna be going over my results and stuff but I really want to get outside the house just like go out because it's a really pretty sunny day so I'm gonna walk over to a coffee shop and get myself a decaf chagachino chagachinos are just so good so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna stop at the grocery store if I have time to pick up a couple of things to cook for lunch and then we'll see what I end up doing in the afternoon Hello, Ramona. I actually 
actually ended up having a free drink to redeem. So this was only $1 because I tipped them $1. But I'm so happy. Yay! We stand on the opposite So good. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings. Okay, I'm back from the grocery store. Let's do a very quick grocery haul. They also were out of a couple of things that I'm gonna need to make the recipes that I wanna make today. So I'm gonna have to go to another grocery store near me after my call, but let me show you guys what I picked up. Quick little haul. I got two bell peppers. I wanna make some stuffed peppers for lunch. And then I got some frozen spinach and some whipped cream because I wanna recreate the shamrock shake. So I'm gonna have to go back to go get some mint and halo top ice cream. I also picked up my favorite pistachio milk and then some cottage cheese and some Greek yogurt. Essentials, always the best protein packed dairy products that I love. And then I got some cauliflower and some chicken which I'm gonna make for dinner and this delicious hummus that I'm obsessed with. And that's it. Updated, I went to another grocery store and I got my turkey. I got some onion to make my lunch, some of my favorite granola because I ran out this morning and then mint for my shamrock shake that I'm gonna make probably tomorrow. It's 1 p.m. so it's time for lunch. And for lunch today, we're gonna be making some stuffed bell peppers. slightly burnt which is not ideal but it's okay I think it'll be fine and the turkey is ready so I'm just gonna build them now I was gonna put the cheese and then put it back in the air fryer so that it would like kind of melt but I'm just gonna put it on top and hopefully it's warm enough and it'll kind of melt the cheese and you could stuff this with other stuff too. You could put like beans and rice and you could put avocado, really anything you want. But this is what I'm going with. I'm keeping it simple today. And one tablespoon of this has two grams of protein. Okay, lunch is served. This is definitely not aesthetic, but I think it will taste good, hopefully. I'm gonna give this a real good and honest opinion. I love peppers, personally. So I feel like I'm gonna like this. And I also kind of like when my veggies are a little bit too cooked, but... Kind of just cut into it, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. Mmm. It actually looks really good, and the cheese is kind of starting to melt, which we love. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! Mmm. Wait. I like it more than I thought I would, honestly. Pepper actually cooked perfectly. I was gonna do it in the oven, but then it was gonna take too long. Mmm. Wow, really like this. Peppers are packed with vitamin C and vitamin A, and they also have a lot of potassium and fiber. So you got the fiber from the peppers and also some carbs from that. And then we have some healthy fats from the cheese and some protein from the turkey. This is around 46 grams of protein because I used half of the turkey that I made and the total of one pack of turkey is 88 grams plus the two grams from the cheese. So cheers. Mmm. We're gonna enjoy this, listen to a podcast, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. That lunch was fire. That was so 
good sometimes meals don't have to be aesthetic for them to actually be bombed like for them to be so good i'm so happy about it because i feel like it's such an easy meal to put together you really don't need that many ingredients and it's really fast i'm gonna go to pick up my bib and i'm also gonna go to fleet feet which is a runner's store to pick up some electrolytes and some gels and maybe i'll get a new pair of running shoes there and then after that i'm probably just gonna go sit outside in the park and read my book and enjoy life and just relax a little bit i have a hard time sometimes with rest days and slower days because I'm so used to doing so many things at once but I just had to remind myself that it's really important to embrace and like appreciate the slower days too because they are not around that often and I just did some YouTube editing so I'm feeling good I did enough work where I'm feeling like productive and ready to get outside so let's go It's 8 p.m. now. After I got back home, I was just editing a video that I posted on my Instagram and my TikTok, which is actually very tied to this YouTube video because it was a high protein snack recipe that I am obsessed with. So definitely check that out if you're looking for healthy snack inspo. I'll put it here on screen. But my afternoon took a really positive turn. It was so lovely. I got some gels, got some new running socks. I was encouraged to not buy new running shoes to wear in my race because you're supposed to break them out and not just like wear brand new shoes, even if you have worn that specific pair of shoes before. So I did not do that, but learned a lot of things then i went to the new york road runners station picked up my bib and met up with my friend gabby who's running the half marathon with me and who ran my first half marathon with me also she's literally like my lifelong best friend my sister i love her and we ended up going to bryant park after sitting and talking and met up with one of her friends who lives in austin and it was a great lovely time and now it's time to make a protein packed denim yeah <laughs> we're gonna be making some chicken some cauliflower steaks and it's gonna be so good i was thinking of throwing in some type of grain like orzo or rice or something like that but to be completely honest i've been really tuning in with my body and i feel like i am not even that hungry i don't know why but I think making the cauliflower steaks, the chicken, I kind of want to make like a little hummus dressing. Maybe I'll make a little small salad on the side. I feel like that'll be already a lot of food. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be so yummy. So let's go make it. Let's get into it. More ingredients, a cauliflower, and some chicken. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform ya. Oh, come and see what you've been missing. On a little slice of heaven, it's the only place for living. The cauliflower is ready and the oven is at 345 right now, but it's preheating to 400 So i'm just gonna kind of let this start cooking. This is like a maple lemon buttery type of marinade and it's so good
Okay, you guys, dinner is served. Look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful restaurant quality. Am I right? We're gonna do a quick little taste test and then I'm gonna go sit down and eat with Pedro because the light in the living room at night is really not good. So we're doing it in the kitchen. In spite of everything, I'm gonna make sure to get the little hummus dressing from the bottom. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. Perfectly lemony, delicious. I really like it. Honestly, with any dish, you can really spice it up by adding little toppings like dill. I added the hummus dressing, added tomatoes and some pumpkin seeds, and it just really complemented the little flavor profile. I could have added definitely more veggies or other things, but sometimes two ingredients and some garnish really makes an easy meal. So I'm gonna go eat, I'm gonna enjoy, and then relax for the rest of the night, and I'll catch you guys soon. Yeah, it's a little delicious. <laughs> no, be honest. Yeah, it tastes really good. It tastes like dill. Like what? Like dill. I also realized I didn't share this earlier, but I literally had the coolest and cutest experience today when I was picking up my bib. I was leaving New York Roadrunners, and as I'm like walking out the door, the volunteer who was there like holding the door open stops me and my friend, and she's like, I follow you. And I was like, oh my God. And we had this beautiful, like moment where she was like, I love what you do. I love the content that you share and make your meals. I love it. Keep it up. We took a picture together and it just like literally made my day. And I wanted to kind of just close out this video by expressing my gratitude for like each and every one of you who tunes into my videos, who listens, who watches, who listens to my podcast, who DMs me, who connects with me, who stops me on the street to like tell me you watch my content. It literally makes me so happy and I wouldn't be here without you guys. I literally wouldn't. That's why for me, nourishing this community, showing up authentically, sharing value, that's also important to me. And it means the world to me if it resonates with you, if it helps you in any way, if it just makes your day a little bit lighter or happier or inspires you. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm having a little post dinner treat this is the source little biotin hair growth chocolates that i like a lot Tommy that and i'm gonna go now get ready for bed turn my pjs on and read my kindle and then just fall asleep like a little baby so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it gave you some meal inspiration i hope it helped you think of new ways to eat more protein different recipes i especially loved the lunch recipe even though it was not the most aesthetic looking it tasted so good and let me know in the comments which of the meals you guys would be most excited to make or to recreate as i mentioned in the beginning of the video there will be a free recipe and a grocery guide in the description if you guys want to remake anything if you're not yet subscribed join my youtube family and i love you all so much I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'm sending you a big virtual hug.